Hello, my name is Manchu. I have completed master's degree in physics and bachelor of education from India. Currently, I am living in Amsterdam and taking online classes for Indian, Middle East and European students from grade two to grade 10. For primary students, I am taking math and science subject and for the secondary students i'm taking math and physics for cbse icse igcse and ib syllabus i have more than nine years of experience in the teaching field i have taken offline or face-to-face -face classes for both primary and secondary students when i was in india i have a great experience in both offline and online teaching field today uh, I'm going to show you or prove the problem uh, of all positive, any positive odd integers is in the form of 6 cube plus 1, 6 cube plus 3 or 6 cube plus 5. So before starting the problem, I will share a screen with you, then we can do the problem, okay? Yeah. So this is the question, show that any positive odd integers is in the form of 6 cube plus 1 or 6 cube plus 3 or 6 cube plus 5, where Q is in some integers. Okay, we have to write the Euclid lemma equations. We have to prove these equations using the Euclid lemma equation. So the Euclid lemma equation is A is equal to B Q plus R. Okay, the condition of R, the condition means R is always greater than or equal to zero, is always less than B. So, in this condition, before we have to write, so this B Q plus R is in the form of 6 Q plus 1, right? So, we have to compare these two equations, then we, can, we have to know the value of B. So from this equations, we can, we have to know the value of B is equal to 6, right? Here, A is the dividend, B is the divisor, Q is the quotient, and R is the reminder. This is very much similar to the division algorithm. So let's start. Here, B is 6. So from this condition, we can, we have to know that the R value is in between or 0 to 5, right? 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, okay? So, for getting this, uh, for proving this one, we have to give the R values to this equations. So, then we can get the answer. So, when first condition, when R is equal to 0, so when R is equal to zero means here A is equal to B means six, right? Six Q plus zero, that means six Q. So we can rewrite this equation as two multiplied by three Q. So always we will get the six Q answer, right? So any integer, so suppose this is an integer. Any integer is multiplied by two, what we will get? We will get an even number, right? For an example, any integer, one multiplied by two, we will get an even number. Then two multiplied by two, we will get another even number. So generally we can tell we will get an even number. So next is R is equal to one. So what you will get when R is equal to one? That means A is equal to six Q plus one. Right, so 6 cube plus 1. How to write the 6 cube plus 1? Means same way 2 multiplied by 3 cube plus 1. Right, so we will get the same answer 2 multiplied by 3 cube, that means 6 cube plus 1. 6 cube plus 1. So any number, so we already know 2 multiplied by 3 cube is an even number. So any number, even number is with one, we will get an odd number, right? For an example, nine, sorry, not nine, eight plus one, we will get nine, right? So generally we can tell this is an odd, odd integer, okay? Then the third condition is R is equal to two. That means A is equal to six Q plus two, right? 
So we can rewrite this equation again too. We can take it outside and we can write 3q plus 1, right? So this is also in the form of 2 multiplied by some integer. So we will get again an even number, right? Then r is equal to, when r is equal to 3, a is equal to 6q plus 3. So we can rewrite this equation as in the form of, so we can write 6q plus 2 plus 1. Because we will get the same answer, right? 6q plus, we just split it, 3 in, as 2 plus 1. Okay. So we will get, again, we have to take two common from these two numbers. So two, then we will get again three q plus one, then plus one. Okay, so we already proved that two multiplied by three q plus one is an even number. Again, even number plus one, we will get an odd number, right? Then r is equal to four. Then r is equal to 4, we will get a is equal to 6q plus 4. So we can write this one as 2 multiplied by 3q plus 2. So again, some integer is multiplied by 2, we will get an even number. Okay. The last condition is r is equal to 5 because we can get till 5 only. r value is till 5 because our condition is r is always less than b. So r is equal to 5. So a is equal to 6q plus 5. So we can again split the 5 as 2. Sorry, before that we can just write 6q 6q, okay, 6q plus 4 plus 1. That means 6q plus 5. So we can again take 2 out. So we will get 3q plus 2, then again plus 1, right? That means 2 multiplied by 3q plus 2 is an even number. Then we add plus 1 with the even number, then we will get an odd number. So look at here. Where we where all we got the odd numbers? Here. Here we got the odd number. Here we got the odd number. And here also, right? So that means here, where are the where is the where is the Equation that means a is equal to when a is equal to 6 q plus 1, then when a is equal to 6 q plus 3, and when the next odd number a is equal to 6 q plus 5. So we already proved that these are the odd integers. So any positive odd integers is in the form of 6 q plus 1, 6 q plus 3, or 6 q plus. Five. So we proved the equations. I hope you understand the problem. Okay, thank you.